what's going on YouTube welcome back to my channel just want to say thank you for everybody who watched my previous day in the life got it up to about 14,000 views so crazy today I'm about to be doing another day in the life it's gonna be a little different because I'm going to be comparing my Samsung s23 ultra with the iPhone 14 Pro kind of just see what's the best smartphone to get right now because it's usually those two. I have my friend Fitz using his iPhone 14 throughout the day. I'm gonna be using my S23 Ultra. Pretty much we're gonna look through the camera, the battery life, just look at the pros and cons of each phone. I don't think I'm really biased when it comes to phones. If there's a feature that I think is better on the iPhone, I'll say that this is better. It could be the Pixel, the S23, the iPhone. I've had a bunch of different phones in the past, so I'm not like a loyal Samsung person. Yeah, today we're gonna be just testing out a bunch of different things going to a bunch of different places and I guess we can figure out what's the best phone of 2023 we need a new coffee table or we need to get a coffee table there's nothing here so we need to find something to put right there and we're going to Ikea so just a little update on the battery. It's currently 11 a.m. and my battery is sitting at 80%. I didn't actually charge my phone overnight. Starting at 80% today, but I'm really confident in the battery. I've had this phone for six months, so I'm really confident that the battery will last all day. I'll probably end the day on like 30% or so, but we'll see. Can I get for you then? Uh, so I actually have an order for pickup for Kareem. Yes. This is a cheat code right here. By the way, I've been recording everything on my S23 Ultra, so not quite sure how that's gonna affect the battery, but it's gotta roll with the punches. We just left Ikea, we got all the things that we needed. I'm just a little concerned because my battery is at 68% right now. And I still got a lot of things to do throughout the day. Really curious how this battery is going to hold up. I'm just going to have to see. So I got everything I needed from Ikea. We got the table right here. Next, I'm going to hit the gym. That's where I'm going to meet up with Fitz. And we're really going to start comparing iPhone versus Samsung. RIP Google Stadia. Oh. Anybody else have a Stadia controller laying around? not knowing what to do with it. While I wait to go to the gym, I'm gonna go play some PS5 real quick. But I do wanna talk about some of the things that I just don't use with the phone throughout the six months. I talked about in my previous video how I really don't use the S Pen like that, maybe for groceries or stuff like that. But honestly, throughout these six months, I rarely ever used it. If the next phone didn't have a pen, I'd, I'd probably be good without, but it doesn't hurt. Another thing, I don't really game on the phone. Like I know a lot of people also play video games on the phone. I don't know, I've never really been a mobile gamer. But one thing I really do use a lot is the camera, especially the video camera. I use it a lot when I'm traveling. Um, I have a bunch of videos on my channel where I've been traveling in different places, different cities, different countries. I try to make the most cinematic looking video I can just solely off the phone. So yeah, check those out if you haven't already. All right, we got Fitz here. Finally brought that iPhone 14 Pro out. I really love this purple violet color that it got. I think the iPhone actually has better colors than the Samsung S23. Yeah, man, we're gonna be putting it to the test. First thing I wanna ask you is, what's the battery on and how long have you been using it today? So we're on 99%. Oh, oh <laughs> come on. When I had to drive here, it was on like 95, and it's like a 20 minute drive. So it charged back up to 99, so, you know, it's fair. Okay, 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 I mean, I'm sitting at about 59% right now. Yeah. But I've been using my phone all day. If we're going off looks, I'd have to give that to the iPhone for the color, the body. And I like the S23 Ultra, but sometimes the edges are a little too sharp. Going head to head right now. Portrait video on the Samsung S23 Ultra. And what is this, cinematic? Cinematic mode. Um, like if you look at him back there, personally, I, I, I like the I like the Samsung just because it reminds me of like an actual camera, right? 
Yeah. Right, what do you think? I mean, I think part of that is you being allowed to change the aperture. Once it's really low, it makes it more blurry, and so it looks almost fake on the iPhone. Got it. On the Android, they already have it fixed, but you can adjust it so it looks more natural on the iPhone. That's one thing I've noticed about the S23 Ultra is that you can't adjust the focus of the oh, shit. In portrait mode, you can't adjust the focus after the fact like you can with the iPhone 14 Pro. So that's one thing that I think the iPhone has as far as an advantage in videography. But uh, yeah, let's keep testing out and seeing what we can find. So we were just comparing shooting our pictures in raw mode or not. The iPhone lets you toggle between both and so does the Android. And we were looking at that in video and how you can capture so much more detail in the video so you can edit it a little bit later and be able to pull out a lot more colors. So we'll be able to compare the two and see how they look once they're edited and also unedited. When it comes to optical zoom, I think Samsung really shines because you also have a 10x zoom, whereas in the iPhone, you only have the 3x. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to charge my phone because I'm at 40% and I still have to record my friend's show. I just, there's no way that I could be able to record it on 40% right now. He started the day out with 90%, so we really couldn't even compare. After some fun, it's on 82%. 82 i mean so I, I came out here at, at like 60 and now i'm at 40 but it's i feel like it's just the heat recording everything and i feel like that's just really killing the battery right now so gotta charge my phone up all right so typically when i use my phone my screen on time is probably about seven to eight hours per day I, i'm like a power user i use my phone too much probably more than you i'm all dressed up Next thing we're doing is we're going to a music festival. This one. <laughs> we're going to a music festival. I'm gonna shoot my boy. He's performing tonight. I wanna get some really cool shots, maybe some shots with the drone. El money que quiero, la vida que quiero, trame botella sin gapi le cuero, yo lo soñaba. I just came over here just to get a quick breather, but I can't wait to see what type of shots we get and we can compare at night. I feel like that is really, really important, especially when you're recording with phones because whenever you're recording with like a regular video camera, night shots usually look good, but with cell phones, they don't. Let's see. I feel like low light is the best test for how good a phone camera is. This is the iPhone pictures. We're gonna show the Android pictures right next to it. You're gonna see, I think the HDR is a little bit better on the iPhone. It does a great job of capturing a few different colors in here. And some of the Android shots kind of all pick one color and they look the same throughout. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So we went through a lot of things, but I do wanna to touch on a couple. As far as the battery goes, I don't think today was an accurate representation of what I've been used to for the past six months. Because I had been recording and using the phone throughout the day, I think that really was detrimental to the battery because I've always had excellent battery life with this phone and typically end my day around 35 to 40%. And now for the cameras. While both of these phones are gonna be some of the best cameras you can get right now, I'm leaning towards the Samsung mostly because of the zoom capabilities. I'm a person who loves to go to concerts and sporting events and getting some of those close up zoom shots is just the best experience. Overall, I'm not team Android or team iPhone. I might even get the iPhone in the future because of the great Apple ecosystem. But personally, I think I'm gonna stick with the Samsung for now. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. It does mean so much to me. Stay tuned for the next one.